Hey folks, in today's video I gonna show you some more upgrades you can do for your Neptune 3D printer. My printer is the Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro, and as you can see I already did a lot of modifications to it. Today we gonna take a look on these clips. They hold the leveling gears in place, so you don't have to level your printer that often. And the other modification I show you today is this Razed spool holder. You see, with the normal spool holder, you can only use this normal size spools. And this is okay if you only use spools like this or even smaller ones. But most of the time the smaller spools are more expensive as the same filament on a big spool. Like this 2.3 kilogram spool I got from 3D Jake. And therefore you can use this adapter I made. It raises the height of your spool so you can then use up to 3 kg spools on your 3D printer. And like the previous parts of this series, this video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. Besides making PCBs, they also offer a large variety of different manufacturing processes, such as CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and even injection molding. You can simply upload your 3D file, and you will get an instant quote. They also gave me a link you can use to get $5 off your first order. So thank you PCBWay, and now back to the video. These clips are made by Killer81 and you can find them on Thingiverse. And as you can read here, something went wrong with the size of this model. But you can simply set the size in your slicer to 1000% and then it will be okay. Yes, that looks better now. We need one of these clips for every leveling gear, so I have to multiply the model to get four of them. I printed them with three supports and used Marble PLA by Polyterra. This modification was requested by one of my subscribers and I'm pretty certain it solves his problem of leveling the printer that often. When installing the clips, just make sure that this edge is on the top side so that the edge lies on the metal part above the adjustment wheel. Then the same on this side, and on the back side as well. One complaint with this printer that I often hear, is that the print bed screws can be a bit loose and can let the bed get out of level especially when you're printing in higher speeds. But with these clips installed, that's a problem of the past, so you can spend more time printing and less time leveling. Another shortcoming of this printer is that you cannot run big spools like this. As you can see there is just not enough clearance to get this installed. To solve this I had to design an adapter that raises the height of the spool a bit. I did this in Tinkercad and I will upload it to Thingiverse for free so you can download it there. Just make sure that you use some strong filament to print this, so that it won't break when it's under load. And to give it maximum strength, I suggest using a dense infill as well. And since the big spools are usually also wider in size, I also had to make a longer spool guide that fits that adapter. I printed it in this upright position, which is truly not the best for strength. So, if you do the same, just make sure that your material and print quality is up to the task to halt the weight of the bigger spool you want to use. I printed this part in a filament called Nice Bio that is quite strong. So, I printed the adapter part from the same filament, and when screwing them together, I realized two things. First, that the material is strong enough to hold the weight of the big spool, and second, that the threads don't screw in all the way, so I had this ugly gap. So what I did is that I printed the spool guide again, but in 99% of its original size. There is still a little bit of a gap, but that is good enough for me. I also used a little bit of Teflon tape here to make a snug fit. By the way, I used the same filament as before, only in another color. And there you have it, you can now use the big spools on your printer and don't have to level your bed as much as before. 
If that video was helpful for you, I would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. That means very much to me. And you can hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss any more upgrade videos on the Elegoo printers. Also, if you want to support me, you can be my Patreon. That way you have access to all the 3D models shown here, on which I have not made yet a video. I will make these parts available for free in the future, but that will take another one or two months, as I'm currently very busy with some other projects. I wish you a good time printing, and see you in the next one.